I'm not gonna talk to you. So what did you? There you are, Chloe. Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. I wonder if, I, if Max, if I can actually make Max choose to enter the competition or not. I didn't see any option for that. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Ah. It's got something to do with the sea. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell, this is long. <laughs> Stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. How do you know it's gonna be at the junkyard? He could be at his uh, little hidey hole. Okay, this is where the scary part comes. So how am I gonna stop Doomsday? That's what I want to know, but whatever. Max, when we catch this reminds me of the first Max, Uncharted so game. And you know when you, God sake, Chloe, you have when to you be quiet. when you have a torch, um, die, okay? when you have that flashlight on your buckle, and you can move the camera around and break the laws of physics or break the laws of how light works. <laughs> you know the light would be pointing forward, but if you move the camera back, Rachel. when Nathan fo look, can, looking Rachel. forward. The light appears behind his back or something like that, Jesus. <laughs> oh, it's hard to explain, but if some of you played it, you know what I'm talking Max, about. Please hurry. Oh, 
Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! Chloe! Oh, shit. Look out. What the fuck? Oh! She got shot in the head. Let me guess, you can't use the re rewind when you're like this. Chloe. And Chloe's dead. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? What the f- What? What's going on? Huh? What? What? No, seriously, what's- What the fuck is going on? So did he participate in this? What? Or has he got another agenda? Oh, maybe he... Did he... Somehow plant all the evidence on Nathan or are they collaborating with each other? And Chloe's dead. Shit. Well... That... Ch changes quite a lot of things, but what the fuck's going on? Oh, now I'm getting really excited for the finale, but Jesus Christ, three hours of that episode, no, three and a half hours. Uh, well, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I, I will guess, I'll make sure they'll upload quicker this time, but I said, the heat and my, and my flu, uh, come, you know, took me out for a while, but hope there won't be any, uh, setbacks this time. But anyway, I'm really excited to see what the fuck the teacher is all about, I mean, as I said, is he collaborating with Nathan, or is he, or is he the one behind it? Is he the one planning the evidence? I don't really think so. I think he might be collaborating. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you for the next one. Toodaloo.